From the surprising benefits of insects to frogs working their own kind of magic, here are 12 animals that are most beneficial to humans. Bees. The coolest way bees help humans is by producing honey, an incredibly beneficial substance and of course a very sweet tasty treat. Honey contains antioxidants as well as being both antibacterial and antifungal. It's good for the skin, reduces coughs, helps regulate blood sugar and even heals skin abrasions and minor burns. The honey they produce gets all the headlines though and it's easy to see why. It's kind of like a miracle substance. But they actually do so much more for us by pollinating plants. 400 agricultural plant species, as well as one-sixth of all flowering plants on the planet, are pollinated by bees. Without their efforts, we would lose vital foods like beans, tomatoes, onions, and carrots. The losses would be catastrophic and in financial terms would amount to billions of dollars. Horses. We have been using horses longer than any other animal on Earth. They were the first creatures that allowed humans to travel faster than their own muscles could carry them. Their shape seems made for a human to sit upon, doesn't it? For many thousands of years, though, they were nothing more than a tasty treat for primitive humankind. Cavemen would force them off cliffs before clubbing them for the flesh. They, along with bears, lions, and deer, were prominent in prehistoric cave art pieces. Finally, sometime around 6,000 years ago, we as a species evolved enough to understand that by domesticating them, they could be so much more useful. Great distances could be covered many times faster, hastening the development of civilizations, allowing them to go from simple, unorganized tribes to massive, sprawling empires. Cultures, languages, technologies, and developments could now be shared across the known world in lightning time, relatively speaking, of course. Equines have been used throughout modern history in fields, as a form of entertainment, in the transportation of goods, and in battle. Dogs. Though they haven't had as grand an impact on humankind as horses or even bees, dogs have carved their own niche and consequently are often associated with their famous moniker, man's best friend. Sure, they may not plow a fields or pollinate a crops, but dogs are just great companions, aren't they? And think about this. If aliens in outer space are observing us as a species right now, well, they must think that dogs own us. They see dogs leading humans around on leashes and humans feeding and catering to every whim of their favorite pets while the dogs get to just lounge around and hang out all the time. Ants. While we've named over 12,000 species of ants, there's probably more out there to be discovered than those that we now know about. Yes, there can be pests. Those inundated with them in the kitchen may have at one time or another tried to wish them out of existence altogether. But they're also great for the soil. As you may know, ants dig tunnels, and they do so basically non-stop. Now, this turns over dirt, bringing nutrients closer to the Earth's surface and allowing rainwater to fully hydrate the soil. Some ants are called seed harvesting ants, and they may well be the most beneficial of all the ant species. They disperse and germinate seeds, allowing them to flower and thrive. In many parts of the world, ants act as a delicious treat too. Colombians in particular take them roasted and salted like peanuts. It's become somewhat popular in China as well as a protein-rich part of the diet. Termites. They eat dead trees. That's one reason the termite is so important in the natural world. They help decompose dead trees and turn them back into fertile soil, helping forests regrow infinitely faster. So we really can't blame them when they keep on eating and end up going clean through our wooden buildings because they simply don't know any better. Like ants, you may be surprised to hear that they are also an important food source in many places. They're rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, fat, and protein. Bats. The pesticides are bad and are best avoided, of course. That's why everyone should be grateful to bats, a creature that's often feared. They've been associated throughout history with blood-sucking vampires. But the truth is, very few species actually suck blood, and exactly zero mean humans any sort of harm. In the wild, they make for great bug exterminators. Now, this reduces the amount of pesticides that 
farmers have to use to ensure the security of the crops. Some species, like fruit bats, disperse seeds through the droppings, allowing plants to thrive. Now that guano also contains nutrients that aid in gardens. Avid gardeners will regularly buy and use bat guano on the plots. Draculin is a medicine derived from the saliva of vampire bats. That's one of the few species that do suck blood, by the way. Studies show that this drug, which is an anticoagulant, can help stroke patients. Frogs. Now these amphibians are essential in the food chain. They consume insects while providing food for birds, snakes, and other larger animals. Scientists are closely studying chemical compounds that frogs secrete for their human benefits. Now maybe you've dissected a frog in school before. If so, you were likely working with an African clawed frog, a species that has become crucial in biology education. Marine Mammal Program. Now, someone in the U.S. Navy thought it would be a good idea to study marine mammals. At the time, they were looking into Pacific white-sided dolphins. They wanted to study their hydrodynamic performance to improve torpedo performance. While the technology of the day failed to demonstrate any unusual capabilities in the dolphins, the Marine Mammal Program was born. Based in San Diego, California, dolphins and marine mammals like sea lions were used for years for various tasks. They were trying to detect enemy sea mines, with dolphins being deployed to the Persian Gulf in the midst of the Iraq War in 2003. Though beneficial, the Marine Mammal Program was surrounded by controversy throughout its history. People were concerned over the animals involved and for the welfare. It's likely why reports state that the program will be coming to a close, with robotic technologies replacing the marine creatures. Snake Massage Therapy Snakes' bodies are mostly made up of muscles, so perhaps it's no surprise that, in some places, it has become vogue to get a massage from them. Now, as scary as this might sound, it's supposed to work great. Technically, they are ideal masseurs, besides the fact that they could at any moment try to attack you and eat you. Like frogs and most of these other animals on the countdown, they are an important part of the ecosystem. Their prey would increase in numbers, while the predators that rely on them for food would struggle and their numbers would decrease, causing a dangerous imbalance. Chickens. It's pretty easy to determine what the feisty birds provide us with. Food, in particular the eggs and the meat, both of which are staples in many of our diets. Certain varieties of chickens are bred expressly for meat production and are known as broilers. Chicken is the world's most common type of poultry, and the eggs are the best known and most consumed byproduct in the world. Did you know that eating chickens for sustenance dates back to at least 600 BC in ancient Babylon? Rats. Human and rat physiology are remarkably similar, which is why scientists so often choose to work with them in labs. Now, this practice, while beneficial, is also very controversial. We are hurting rats without getting their permission. Another way in which we are doing this is by marching them into minefields. Humans don't want to risk their lives to uncover undetonated landmines, so we send in these rodents to do the job for us. Their intelligence, which is remarkably high, allows them to be trained to do such tasks and they are too lightweight to set off those mines. Pigeons. Did you know these birds show tons of affection to the mates? Their affectionate nature can also make them excellent companions. Like bats, they eat and spread seeds. The favorites are weed seeds, and yes, that is a serious fact. They also snack on the food we throw away as litter. Humans have domesticated the birds for thousands of years, and to this day, they perform delivery services in remote areas. 